pretty easy to do. Stretch. Excellent. Okay. But the thing is, my ex-girlfriend used to be um, a beauty therapist. So she uh, sometimes had the wax strips out, so I had a little slight advantage. Do you only even make wax? Out? Yeah, a couple of them. And everyone comes to my house every, like, Are three. you joking? No, and there's about eight lads. You all get together every six weeks? What every do you three do? Weeks. Every three weeks. It started out just me and my brother and a couple of others. Just getting, you know, like... A few what bits do you do? Done. Yeah. We just get a few bits done, like grooming and stuff. And you mean, does someone come to your house? Yeah. No matter what way he puts it, it sounds a little bit weird. But hey, coming up in part two, things get hairier or hair lesser. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He was in agony and I was nervous as hell. I get a flipping minge wax. I was dropping the diamonds down her pants. It, ah, you twat. Welcome back! Earlier in the show, our brand new bunch of super celebs learned about waxing, skin conditions, and lice. Oh. Did you see any of that on Geordie Shore? I'm sure he did. <laughs> and is romance beginning to blossom already? That we're like, we're, we're gobsmacked how good looking the Irish girls are. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see. I don't know if he's feeding me a web of lies or not. I know your game, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 that's awful. You shouldn't have grabbed Nadia's hand, should you? <laughs> now it's time for Carol to take the waxing challenge. So who's Havana Leg Wax? Havana Leg Wax? We'll get our cup. I thought I would be good at waxing because I do a lot of waxing myself on myself, but it was very difficult. <laughs> it was a disaster. Oh my stretch to the front and hand down after. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. He was in agony and I was nervous as hell. Oh, brace yourself. <laughs> it's getting more sore as it goes on. Is it getting more sore? <laughs> I did feel bad. When I'm doing it on myself, I know how to do it quick, but I, I killed him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's Nikki's turn, but what area will she be waxing? The suspense. I was hoping I was going to get something easy, like Juliet and got a top lip. You're going to do a bikini wax on Lisa? I get a flipping minge wax. You're going to go not quite standard, a little bit high, but you're not going as far as Californian? But I thought, mm, well, I won a prize, so I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and get on with it. I'm just going to cleanse the area first. To be honest, I hated every second of it. I really, really hated it. Push down, remember? In the direction of the hair growth. Stretch, and sit. I really don't know how people go and get that done because it is a form of torture. Is that OK for you? Okay. I got through it before the time limit was up. And they were very pleased with me. She's actually quite good. Thank you. And you got done in your time as well, which is yeah. excellent. What a pro. It's Geordie Shaw's Greg Lake like. No amount of rough you Northern Charm can compensate for the fact that he doesn't have a clue. You're going to do a vajazzle. What? A vajazzle. Yes, OK. What design would you like? Could I have a star, please? You certainly can, yeah. Uh, so how come I'm not doing any waxing? After your performance this morning, do you think we're going to trust you with a client? Yeah. I've had no training on this, though. I couldn't pick the little beads up. <sighs> what are you finding difficult to actually get them off? Just I had my hands were full of bits and bobs. Oh, no, I've done this again. Oh, no. <laughs> I was dropping the diamonds down her, down her pants. Right, I've just lost it down there. We'll forget about that one. <laughs> this is too hard for me, this. Oh, it was a disaster from start to finish. I'm going to come last again here. In fairness, it's not a great job. OK, you've five minutes left. You're not going to make a star. So is right. there some way you can compromise and send your client home happy? Her name was Michaela, and I had, like, the start of the star. So it looked like an M-ish. So I said, oh, that'll do. Come on out of time. It's like an M-ish. -M it's an M-ish. If you get a marker pen, I can make the rest of the name. It was a good effort, though, I thought. First time, no training. Not bad. Hey, nobody died. Can you guess who volunteered to be Nadia's client? Why, it's Greg, who's taken a sudden interest in male grooming. Greg is my client. He's lying on the bed. And they were like, OK, we're going to do a chest wax. This is to get brownie points back 
Okay. For a few other things that didn't go quite right today, <laughs> okay. isn't that right, Greg? That's the one. They were like, oh, Greg, um, let's do something different. Well, instead of doing the whole chest, could we do like um, a little love heart symbol <laughs> or something like that? I was thinking, ah, oh, I can't say no here, so I lay down. Oh, I might have care, care bear. Greg, the, yeah, like a care bear. I'm, 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 I'm a loving care bear. And I'll tell you what it is, I've never had so much pain in my life. Two. Ah, you're too hot. <laughs> he, he was jumping off the bed. Don't be such a wimp. A wimp. Take it like a man. Just really fun inflicting pain on him. Oh my god, this is so much fun. <sighs> just relax, just think a really nice thing. Ah, ah, good. Can you count? Ah. <laughs> you did very, very well. You did get it. You got a good shape into it. Um, so really good. I right, well, now you have to say, now you has made a mark on us now. Look, he's got a heart on. Great job, Nadia. It isn't the slightest bit lopsided. Things you do for girls, eh? You've completed your day of waxing. So, for the people that Sheila looked after, the winner is Nikki. Yes! <laughs> So for the celebrities that I looked after today with the waxing, the winner is Philip. Oh, oh my God. God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. So Philip, your prize is two pairs of beautiful cufflinks from Gemini Jewelry. Thank you very much. And Nikki, your prize is a beautiful necklace from Miss Chic Jewelry. Oh, well thank you. Okay, thank you everybody. So now it's time to hit the road. So get yourselves together and let's get moving. We're on the road again. This time the celebrities travel to Creative Academy and Spa in Dublin, where it's time for our celebs to tackle their second assignment, Mission Manicure. Good morning everybody and welcome to Creative Academy. CND Shellac combines the best of nail polish with a brand new UV3 technology. This creates a power polish, a professionally applied nail paint that glides on smoothly, lasts for 14 days of flawless wear and gives a rich, gorgeous colour. Now I'm going to pass you over to Michelle, who's going to do a demonstration of CND Shellac and show you how it's done. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I haven't got a clue what, what we're talking about. <laughs> we're talking about nails, Yeah, but she's saying all this stuff, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Greg. We can never understand what you're saying either. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sanitize and cleanse the hands using this product here, which is called Cool Blue. Rub, Rub them together, love. <laughs> From working on UTV, people will have gathered them. I'm a bit of an Egypt. He's funny, but he's funny when he's not meaning to be funny. Then we're going to use our curette <laughs> just to run it around the side walls and the cuticle area just to remove any non-living tissue from the surface oh. of the nail place. Living tissue, it sounds horrible. Living tissue. <laughs> All sorts of flies on there and everything. Have you got non-living <laughs> tissue on your nail? It's like someone from Alien. Hello. Guys. Behave, Julian. The first product we're going to use is this one here. It's called Shellac Base Coat. And this is going to pop into the lamp and cure for 10 seconds. What does that do? Dry it's it. going to it makes dry it. Go it. Hard. Makes it go hard, yeah. <laughs> Julian's originally from Entendre County Antrim. So we're now going to apply our shellac UV colour coat. So prior to application, you need to make sure you give it a really, really good shape just to blend all the technologies together. And again, we're just going to drain the excess off the brush. So you're going to wait till it goes hard and then give it a good shape. Exactly. <laughs> Philip's lovely. He's actually a lot funnier than I expected him to be, and he's very quick-witted. So we're now, as you can see, coating the natural nails. And then that's going to be placed into the lamp, and we're going to cure that now for two minutes. Well, we need to do two coats of the red, or just one? Two coats of the red. Right, so okay. when this comes out, we're going to reapply and do a second coat. I am actually a perfectionist. I do like tasks like that, where you kind of have to take your time, and everything has to be right, and just, you know, precision and things like that. So lastly, we're going to now use our shellac UV top coat. I was bored. I'm, I'm a lad. If it was if it was playing a football match, I'd pay attention. If it's doing makeup, I don't care. Okay. It's not help me. Now we need to remove our sticky layer. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to use isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free pad, and now we're going to wipe off the sticky layer. The last thing we're going to do is just provide a little bit of hydration using the solar oil, which is going to condition the well, cuticle area. <laughs> Condition the cuticle area and the natural nail beneath. 
and then you're finished. As you can see, that is now.